are just outside of Oga's Cantina, Hollywood Studios, Walt Disney World. This isn't your ordinary review. We're going to dive deep and share with you all the details you've been wanting to know about Oga's Cantina. From the seating and if it's plus size friendly, if you can bring an ECV or wheelchair or stroller inside, and what do you do if you have food allergies? We'll also take a look at any sensory concerns you might have. Stay tuned for details on all of this and so much more. Welcome to Pammy Plus Parks. I am Pammy, your plus size fairy godmother, bringing you all the magic Disney, Universal, and Florida have to offer plus size people and people with mobility, accessibility, cognitive, and sensory concerns. But we'll also cover some information about kids as well today and food allergies. If you have a reservation for Oga's Cantina on a day that they are doing boarding groups for Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, you do not need a boarding group pass. You just need your reservation for Oga's Cantina, preferably in a paper form, along with your ticket, annual pass, or magic band, and a photo ID. Arrive at the front of Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, present those credentials, and they will let you into Star Wars Galaxy's Edge one hour before your Oga's Cantina reservation. Once you arrive at Oga's Cantina, check in with a cast member about 15 minutes prior to your reservation. If you have any special needs, you wanna make sure your cast member knows at that time. For instance, if you have any food allergies or if you're going to bring in an ECB or a wheelchair, or if you're going to request to have a seat or a table of some sort, make sure you make that request when you're checking in. Seating inside of Oga's Cantina is very limited and you do have a 45 minute time limit for which you are allowed to be inside the cantina. And because seating is limited, you may be standing the entire time. After you've checked in with a cast member, they'll have you stand in line. You'll check in at the podium and then you'll enter. There are eight different concoctions that they have that have alcohol in them. They have a full list of beers on tap. They also have cider on tap and wine on tap. Now the only food you're gonna find here is this snack, the Batu Bits, which is uh, basically like, you know, little nibbles. Now there's several concoctions that don't have any alcohol at all. In fact, there's, uh, there's seven in total here. Another one down here called Oga's Obsession. And then this one here has alcohol. So this is the only menu that they have for Oga's Cantina. There is no allergy-free menu. The only snack that they serve in the afternoons and evening is the Batu Bits. Now in the mornings, I believe they have like an oatmeal and some kind of breakfast sandwich or something like that. So you're gonna actually have to talk to your server inside. If you have any allergy concerns, they'll be able to help you. My husband, Mark, has an allergy to cranberry juice. He's not here with us today, but if he were, we would definitely speak to our bar staff or our server and ask them to make sure that he received drinks that did not have cranberry juice in them. Ogus Cantina is ECV and wheelchair friendly. They do recommend that you park your strollers outside. Stroller parking is right over here across from the cantina. You can bring a stroller inside if you absolutely have to. But uh, having gone inside very briefly myself, I can tell you there is really no room for strollers. If you're wondering if this is a good place to take your children, just know that it's a dim lit atmosphere with loud music and alcoholic drinks. It's a bar. If you don't feel comfortable taking your child into a bar atmosphere, Oga's Cantina may not be for them. There are lots of other places within Star Wars Galaxy's Edge and Hollywood Studios where you can get an alcoholic drink in a more family-friendly cafe style setting. So maybe bypass Oga's Cantina if you don't want to bring your child into a bar atmosphere. Minors are allowed in here as long as they are accompanied by an adult. Well guys, it is very, very loud in here. The music is really nice. It's a nice, uh, sort of a hip hop kind of a beat. Party music, it's fun. But the conversation in here is very loud. The lighting is dim. I don't really have any major sensory concerns in here for you. I will share some things I see that might be of concern to you. But just keep in mind that you are in a very much a, a nightclub sort of a atmosphere in here. So there is a party atmosphere inside of Oga's Cantina. You will see some of the lights flash a little bit. A lot of clapping, a lot of moving around. Keep that in mind if you have sensory concerns. 
if you happen to be sitting in a booth like we are, the table does have some light effects into it. Nothing that's really horribly flashing. What do you get? In fact, I didn't notice it until I happened to be looking at my menu sitting on here and I was like, oh, there's lights in the table. Now, if you order the Yub Nub, you can get this souvenir mug. This is gonna run you $45 to get that souvenir mug for this alcoholic beverage. If you order a Cliff Dweller, you can get this really, really cute cord mug. That'll run you $35. Mine is the Dagobah Slug Slinger. Dagobah Slug Slinger, Jedi Mind Trick, and the Tauntaun Fizz. Fuzzy Tauntaun. Oh, sorry. Tauntaun Fizz. This is going to make your lips go numb. The foam will make your lips go numb. All right, I can't wait to see this. What do you guys think? Oh, it's got tequila. Some tequila, a couple, couple little bits of tequila. Yeah. Is it making your lips numb? Not yet. Not yet? Not yet. It's Not yet. delicious, though? It's very good. Okay. This is the drink I've been looking for. The Jedi Mind trick. All right, here we go. a little bit lower that is wheelchair and ECV accessible. There's no refreshers here. That's what they call restrooms. The restrooms are located outside. So if you find you need to use the restroom while you're here, go to the entrance of Ogus. Let a cast member know that you need to use the restroom and they'll give you a card that you can take, use the restroom, come back and you use that card to regain entrance into Ogus. Ogus was absolutely amazing. A couple of things that uh, I wanted to share with you that I learned inside was that they do have a charcuterie board that you can order. It is not on the menu. You do have to ask your server about it. And if you happen to purchase one of the souvenir mugs, they won't make you take the mug out that you drank out of. They'll give you a brand new one fresh in its own box. Thank you so much for joining me at Ogus today. I hope that all of your visits to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge are magical. But don't go away yet. Stick around and take a look at the other videos I picked out for you for Star Wars Galaxy's Edge and Hollywood Studios. Until next time, everyone, remember, life is a roller coaster. Enjoy the ride.